engaged by your Maya and have identified myself with the body in consequent bodily relations. Athame Deva Sanmoham Apakustam Tam Arasi Ju Abagraha Aham Ametiti Tasmi Etasmi Jujitasaya. So Devahiti is accepting or accepted her son Kapilde as Guru. And now he is placing the problem and how to solve it. <clears throat> so to go to Guru means to solve the material problem. Uh, not temporary problem, I have got some disease, give me some mantra so that I am I cured or I am in poverty, give me some mantra, I can get money. Not like that. <clears throat> to deliver me from the sanmoha, illusion, ahang mameti, this material life is a sanamoha, ahang mameti. Atab, uh, uh, the material life begins, punsang striyang me thuni bhava me tat. This material life is described in four lines. What is this material life? Na pungsang striya me thuni bhava me tat. Etat. This material life is nothing but an attraction of sex. Pungsang striya. The man is after woman and woman is after man. This is material life. Beginning. Uh, Everywhere, not only human society, even in bird society, dog society, cat society, or demigod society, everywhere you'll see this sex attraction. And they are seeking, and as soon as they are joined together, who satisfy the sex desire, they are the, I am to say, attraction becomes more and more tight. Then, atat grihacceta sutata vittai janasya mohoyam ahamam meti. So as soon as they are combined, they require one house or apartment or cottage or nest, something must be private. Atak griha, chetra, then to work, to earn livelihood, one must have some land. Either you construct skyscraper building or till it or get some food grain. Atak griha, chetra, suta, then without children, Married life is frustrated. Putra hinam griham sunnam. Married life without children is void. Vidya hinam jivanam sunnam. If one is not educated, his life is vacant. Ah, or vacant. Vidya hinam jivanam sunnam. Dika sunnam deva bandha. And if you go to some foreign country, if there is no deva, temple, God's temple, or friend, that is also useless. Uh, <coughs> and putrahinam uh, griham sannam. And if you have no children, the so-called married life is also void. And sarva sannam daridrita. And if you are poor in poverty, then everything is zero. Even if you have got 
uh, wife or even you have got education, or you have got friend, everything is. That is Chanakapani that buys. So this family life is attraction. Griha Chetra, then Suta, children, then Apta, relatives. In this way, Janasya Mohoyam Ahangamameti, he becomes entangled in this material life. But that is moho. Uh, that is not fact. It is moho in this sense because we have to change this body. In this body I have created something, griha chetra suto apta vitta And uh, at the time of death, as Krishna says, mṛttu sarva harasca aham. Krishna takes out everything as death. Your griha, your house, your land, your wife, your children, your friend, your reputation, everything is taken out. And then you have to begin another life. Tathādhyāntara prāti. You are not dead. You are living eternally. Nāhannate hannamāne sarīre. This body is finished. You have to accept another body. And that you do not know what kind of body you get. There are so many bodies. Jalajanam lakkhāni sāvara lakkhavimśati, eight million four hundred thousand forms of body. So you have to enter some of the, some of them, one of them. <coughs> so in this way our life, life is going on. But temporarily if we are situated in a position, this is my wife, this is my children, this is my house, this is my country, this is my nation, this is my my ahaṁ bhumeti. This illusion. You will not be allowed to stay in the circumstances of ahaṁ bhumeti. That's a fact. Everything will be taken away. But we are attached to this. This is material life. Therefore, uh, Devahuti proposes that jo abhagraha, this false conception of life, ahaṁ mameti, I am American, I am Indian, I am Hindu, I am Muslim, I am Christian, or I am Brahmin, I am Chhatri. This abhagraha, it is called upādhi, designation, for the timing, just like Ah, you become minister for five years or three years or president. Ah, just like Nixon was president. Now he is not president. So this is an upadhi. You are Indian, American, these, that, they are all upadhis. Ah, therefore, if we attach, if we are attached to the upadhi, that is called avagraha. And according to the upādhi, I become attached to me and mine. Uh, I am this, I am that, and it is mine. But actually they are all illusion. Fact it is, if you suppose that's like this president was five years, very powerful, now he's dragged down, then what is the value? What is the value? So it may be for five years or fifty years or at most hundred years. All million years, just like Brahma. But they are all temporary. In the eternal time, five years or ten years or hundred years or five million years, they are all limited. They are not eternal. But we are eternal. We living entities, we are eternal. So why we should be illusioned by the non-eternal? That is called illusion. Uh, that is called gyan. I learn from Bhagavad Gita that I am eternal. There is no birth, there is no death. Na jayati na amriyate va kadachit. Kadachit. 
at any time. Not that uh, it has begun now. No. Never we are born. Uh, no, 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 so this is the fact. So why I shall be interested in something non-eternal? This is called knowledge. If I am eternal and my position is to enjoy life, Anandamaya Vyasa, by nature, I am part and parcel of Krishna. Krishna is Satchidananda Vigraha. And Krishna says, Mamai Vam Se Jiva Bhuta. So, qualitatively, I am also Satchidananda. So, why I am enjoying this temporary life for ten years or twenty years or two hundred years? This is called knowledge. Etat Gyanam. Other gyanam, they are not gyanam. I have said many times, they are arts, silpa. To live for some time and make some artistic way of living condition and forget my real problem. Janma mitu jara vayadi dukha doshana darshana. So, for this purpose, one should approach Guru. Tasmad Guru Prabhadeta, one who is actually interested for spiritual life, he should inquire about a Guru. Not as a fashion. Let me keep one Guru. And <coughs> no. Tasmad Guru Prabhadeta Jignasu Sre Uttamam, just like Devahuti is doing. Uttamam, something beyond this darkness. Tama means darkness. And ut means above. Uttam, that is uttama. So one who is interested, uttama life means the spiritual life. Tama life means this material life. Tamasima, jyotir gama. If you can transcend this darkness, the world of darkness, and if you come to the uh, uh, world of light, that is required. Uh, so, Devahuti, uh, in the previous verse, uh, accepted his son, Kapil Dev. Pungsam Ishara Bhai Bhavan Kila Lokasa Tamasandhasa. Lokasa tamasandhasa chakshu surja ibodita. You are just like the sun. Sun when the morning, the sun is arisen, then all darkness immediately gone. Similarly, uh, you have arisen. Uh, God, Krishna, or his incarnation, when they come, the darkness of this material world, illusion, is dissipated. Just like Krishna, in Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God came, the darkness, illusion, Arjuna's illusion, was counteract. He was also thinking, ahaṅgamamethi, why shall I fight with my relatives, the other side? So, this was darkness, Angmamati. Either you maintain uh, or, or you love this illusory position that is Sanmoham. Uh, uh, this very word is used here. Atha med eva Sanmoham apakrishtam tamarasi. Sanmoham. Samma grupena moham. Samma. Uh, the, the material life, ahang we have created some situation, my and mine. All this is false, illusion, although it is false, we are so much attached to it. So you require to dissipate the apakastum, this misconception. That is the business of Guru. Ajnana timidandhasya, jnanaanjana salakaya, 
Chakshur Militam Jena Tasmai Sri Guru Vinama. This is Guru. <coughs> Guru's business is that we are in the darkness of this illusion, my and mine. And the whole world is going on, the fight between nation and nation, between society and society, community and community, uh, brother and brother, father and mother, all so many. Simply this song mamiti, this much mine. Why you are interfering in my business? There must be fight. Uh, this illusion is going on. Uh, but we do not belong to any one of them. It is temporary. Uh, just like uh, in <coughs> uh, uh, railway compartment, if there is some crowd, somebody fights. Uh, we are, you are, you have, why you have pushed me? Why you have taken my seat? And uh, there is a very big fight. And somebody tolerates. Yeah, I shall sit here for two hours or for three hours. Why shall I fight? Uh, this is one mentality. And another mentality is that he knows that for the two hours or three hours or some other hours he will remain in that compartment. But there is fight. Because ahang mameti, that two hours seat, he is thinking it is my permanent seat. Why you should intrude upon my seat? This is going on. Uh, nobody will be allowed to stay here in this material world. He will have to change the body, his position. Dukhalam asasatam. And so long he will remain here. You will have to fight, struggle for existence. This is material life. And at the same time, if you make compromise, then never mind, it is full of miseries, I shall stay here. No, we cannot be allowed. You will be kicked out. Dukkhalam asasatam. This is the material. So, and we have got very much attachment for this material world. We cannot. Therefore, according to Vedic system, there is compulsory renunciation. Get out, please, immediately. Panchasodham banang bhaje. You are now past fifty years. That's all right. You have falsely fought in this material world. Aham mamete. Now stop this business. Come out. This is Vedic civilization. As soon as you are fifty years, you may just like Children, they play in the beach, uh, making sand house and so on. Now the father, when the time is up, now my dear children, stop this business. Come on, come here, home. So we have to do that. Uh, so uh, this is the business of guru, to teach the student detachment, uh, that this world is not your... Uh, Place. Uh, your place is Vaikuntha Loka. Krishna comes for this purpose. Jada jada hi dharma saglani bhavati bharat. This is dharma saglani when we become too much attached with this material world. That is called dharma saglani. What is dharma? Dharma to sakshat bhagavat pranitam. Dharma means the order of the Supreme Person. That is one. The order of the Supreme Person is, uh, I mean, so open to everyone. Nobody can say that we, I do not know what is the order of the Supreme. I do not carry out. That is another thing. But the order of the Supreme is there. Manmana bhavamad bhakta madhyaji maagnamaskur. Just become my devotee. Always think of me. Manmana, Bhavamad Bhakta, Madhyaji, worship me. Uh, you haven't got to worship anyone else. Mami, come. The order is open. But we will not do it. That is another thing. Uh, we will not accept. But still, Krishna comes. When this dharma is disobeyed, Krishna comes. Uh, therefore, Krishna says, because you are my friend, 
I am just talking to you the most confidential dharma. Because I have spoken to you in so many ways, but because you are my intimate friend, so <clears throat> I am talking to you now the most essential part of dharma. What is that? Now, whatever I have said, you can give up. Sarva dharma and paritajya. I have explained to you about so many yoga system, but this is the real yoga system. Sarva dharma and paritajya, mame kanga sarva So, this dharma is taught by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, by His incarnation, by his devotee, uh, by saintly person, this is real dharma, but we do not take it. Uh, that is another thing. But if we take it, then we become benefited. <coughs> so here it is said, so you are my spiritual master, although you are my son, but I accepted you as my spiritual master. I know you can deliver me from this dark, darkness of ignorance. Uh, so, atha deva uh, sammoham apakustam. I am attached to this material world that is illusion, sammoham apakustam. Now, you dissipate this sammoham. Uh, so, Guru means repeatedly his business is to enlighten the disciple how to become detached to this material world, simply detachment will not help you. The other philosophy, <coughs> Shunnavadi, uh, that you make zero this material detachment. No, that is not possible. Uh, we have got, because we are Anandamaya, we want Ananda, Satchit Ananda. Actually, we are searching after eternal life, sat, that is sat, eternal life. And chit means knowledge and ananda, sat ananda. We are seeking that. <coughs> Partially, if we simply understand eternity, that will not help us. We must have uh, blissful knowledge. <coughs> so the mayavadi, those who are impersonalists, they want to make these material varieties of life zero, uh, because they are very much disgusted with this material life. So, Jagat Mitha, they say, this is Mitha, this is false. Uh, but we say that it is not Mitha, it is, uh, Mitha means uh, false. It is not false. It is truth. But you are using it in a false way. That is our plus. This is the uh, expansion of energy of Krishna. So this energy you are not utilizing for Krishna, but you are utilizing the energy for your sense gratification. And that is mistake. Uh, but otherwise, how it can be false? Uh, it is not false. It is creation of God. Mama, uh, Krishna says, Bhumi rāpa analo vāyu khangamano buddhira buddhira Binna prakiti me astadha. Me. It is Krishna's energy. How Krishna's energy can be false? If Krishna is true, Krishna's energy is also true. Uh, but, uh, it means just like the cloud. You cannot say the cloud is false. Cloud is fact. Uh, although it is temporary, the cloud does not remain in the sky permanently. It appears and again disappears. But when it appears, there is rain, there is reaction of the rain, vegetation on the ground, on the field. How you can say it is false? But it is temporary. That is actual philosophy. So this material world is not false, as the Mahavadi philosopher says. Brahma-satya-jagan-mitha. Jagandha is not mitha. It is fact. 
but we are using it in a way which is false. We are using it in the way for our sense gratification. That is false. Uh, but the material world is not false. Our Krishna consciousness movement is just to teach people how to use it properly. Uh, that is Krishna consciousness movement. Uh, just like we are utilizing this microphone. It is not false, but we are utilizing it for spreading Krishna consciousness. Uh, and if you use it for something else, for some political propaganda or some other propaganda, then it is false. But if you use it for propagating Krishna consciousness, it is not false. Therefore, the conclusion is the microphone is not false. Its use is false. Uh, if you properly use, that is wanted. Krishna consciousness movement is for that purpose. Ishava samidam sarvam. Everything Krishna's, uh, everything of the Supreme Personality belongs to Him. Actually, that is the fact. Uh, so if we misuse it for our purpose or for our, our sense gratification, that is false. Uh, so, here, Devahuti is requesting uh, um, Bhagavan Kopilde that I am in this illusion, ahang mameti, by false conception of life. Kindly uh, you uh, uh, dissipate this illusion because you are my guru. Jo avagraham ahang mameti iti edas mean Yojitastaya. Uh, you can say then how I am engaged in these material activities. Uh, that is also uh, the chance is given, the opportunity is given by Krishna. Krishna is very kind. He says, Jesathamang Prabhadante Tangs Tathayivabhajama. If you want Krishna to give you material advantages. He will give you. Take it. Uh, and if you want from Krishna, again, revival of your spiritual life, then He will give you. Uh, therefore Krishna says, Jejathamang Prabhadanta. Krishna is very kind. That's like a kind father. <coughs> he says sometimes, my dear boy, you don't do this. But if the boy, uh, if the son persists, all right, you can do it. At your risk. This is going on. This is going on. Krishna bhuliya jivi bhogavan chakare. Pasete mayatare japotiya dhare. Maya means <coughs> when you forget Krishna and you want to enjoy this material world to the best uh, capacity, means as far as we can do with our senses, Krishna gives us opportunity. Uh, Krishna gives us opportunity. Yeah, and therefore so many varieties of life. If somebody wants to eat without any discrimination, anything, uh, there are many persons, even in the so-called civilized world, they eat anything and everything. But that is misuse of life. Uh, human life is meant for eating Krishna's prasadam. Not anything and everything. That is not human life. Human life is meant for eating jagya sista sino santa muchanti sarva kilmise. Because this material life is all sinful life. Uh, because everything belongs to Krishna and we are possessing things for my satisfaction. This is sinful. Uh, criminal. Suppose if your property I use for my sense gratification, it is criminal. Similarly, everything belongs to Krishna. Bhoktaram jagatavasam sarvaloko mahesaram. Krishna says, I am the proprietor. So, if you don't acknowledge that, if you use this word for your sense gratification, then you are criminal. Therefore, it is said, 
that you offer yagya, offer to Krishna, then you take it. Yagya sista sino santa muchanti sarvakil misa. You bring things, you have to eat. That's a fact. Krishna is giving you opportunity of eating nice things, food grains, fruits, flowers, milk, so many things. So you prepare, offer to Krishna. That is called yagya. Yagya means satisfaction of the Supreme Person. That is called yagya. So, yagya arthe karma natra lokayam karma bandhana. If you do not work for performing yagya, then you are becoming entangled. Yagya arthe karma natra lokayam karma bandhana. And if you perform yagya, and then you enjoy. Tena tak tena bhunji tha. We require our, uh, I mean, this maintenance of life and soul. That is, that is a fact. But tena tak tena bhunji tha. You enjoy everything which is given to you as prasadam, as remnants, as mercy. This is Vaishnava life. Vaishnava life means they do not. What is this? Uh, temple. The temple is they are being trained up how to accept the remnants of food star of Krishna. Uh, we don't cook for ourselves. If we cook for ourselves, then as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, it is said, Je Pachanti Atmakarana Bhunyante Te Papam. That's simply eating sinful things. And people are doing that. Uh, they do not offer to Krishna and they eat whatever they like. The result is that you have misused this opportunity of human life to understand Krishna and go back to home, back to Godhead, so that uh, you'll be happy eternally, you'll be freed from this entanglement of Bhutta bhutta praliyate. You enjoy one duration of life. Again, you have to give it up, and then you accept another duration of life. Bhutta bhutta praliyate. This human life is meant for getting rid of this business, taking birth and dying, taking birth and dying. Uh, this is meant. This is this opportunity is given. But if you do not uh, use it properly. You use it as cats and dogs and hogs, then the, by nature's law you will get the body next life, cats and dogs and hogs. You eat, even stool, because you had no discrimination in eating. The all light you can now eat. The pig's body, hog's body you get and eat even up to stool. Uh, that opportunity is given. Uh, and you have sex life with your uh, mother and sister. You see, hogs like, they have no sex discrimination. Uh, they do not discriminate, it is, she is my mother, she is my sister. No. So this is hogs like. That was Shastra said, that don't be foolish to lead a life like hogs. Nāyaṅa deho deho bhājaṅa niloke Kastana kamana arhati birbhujangaji. The material civilization should not be like that. What is that? No. Simply for sense gratification. Nayanga deho deho bhajang niroke. Kastana kamana. That sense gratification is also not very easy. People are working so hard. They are stealing, even risking life. Uh, so many things that it is not very easy going life. Kastan Kama. Everything is studied by Shastra. Arhati Bidhujanja. This kind of life is meant for the hogs. So human life is not meant for like that. Human life is meant for tapasya. Tapodibang putraka jina suddhe satya. Suddhe. You have to purify your existence. Now our existence is not purified. We get this contaminated body 
and change it. Again, another contaminated body, another just like one man is suffering from disease. One contamination and then another contamination and This is not life. You purify yourself. And that purification begins when you accept the life of austerities. Tapo, tapasya. Tapasya means voluntarily accepting some. This is not inconvenient. Just like in our society, it is enjoined, the students, they should voluntarily accept the principle, no illicit sex life, no meat-eating, no fish-eating, no nothing of this sort, no intoxication, uh, and no gambling. This is tabus, especially for these European-American students. They are from the beginning of their life, they are accustomed to these habits. But they have voluntarily given up on my word, and that is Guru's business, to purify so that he may be saved from this illusion. He must be purified. Uh, so this little inconvenience for higher happiness, uh, uh, that is desired, that is required. Tapo di banga putraka jena suddheta satya Jasmad Brahma Sokham Anantam. Anantam. You are after happiness, but you do not know how to enjoy happiness. That you do not know. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Sukham Atam Thikam Jatat Tat Otindriya Grayam. Otindriya. Not these false senses. We want sense enjoyment, but not these covered senses. We are spiritual. We have got spiritual body. That body is now covered with this material garment. Therefore, it is covered. The senses are covered. With covered senses, you cannot enjoy, actually. The senses must be open. That means you can enjoy life when your senses are open, not covered by this uh, material body. Uh, that is recommended. One who is interested in Krishna consciousness, it is said, sarvapādhi vinin muktam tat paratena nirmalam. Nirmalam means purified. You have to become purified. And sarvapādhi vinin muktam. Now we are in covered by this material body means I am covered by so many designations. I am American, I am Indian. I am Hindu, I am Muslim. These are all coverings, material. So you have to get free, freedom from these covering. You should not think that I am American or Indian or this or that. Uh, as Chaitanya Mahapurva advised, Jiber Sarup Hoy Nitya Krishna Das. When you understand simply that I am eternal servant of Krishna. That is sarvapādhi vinin muktam, nirmala. And with that conception of life, rishikena rishikesa sevanam bhakti ruchyat. Uh, rishikena means when your senses are now uh, clean, without any covering, then with that senses, when you try to satisfy Krishna, rishikena rishikesa sevanam, Krishna's name is another Rishika. Sinaya Rubhava Muddhe Rishikesa Sthapa Me Ochida. The Rishikes name is there. Rishikes means actually Krishna is the master of the senses. Uh, we are not proprietor of the senses. Krishna is the proprietor of the senses. So when our senses are purified and we apply them, after all our senses are employed for satisfaction of somebody, myself or somebody else. Actually somebody else. That is calm, crowd, low, moho, masajya. That is illusion. We are not serving ourselves. We are serving our lusty desires. Calm, crowd. I am angry, therefore I am killing somebody. So that is not mine, but I am servant of the anger. I am servant. I am not master. If I would have been master, then I could control my anger. But I am not. I am servant of anger. 
and someone of lusty desire. So I am servant, but this servitude should be transferred to Krishna. That is perfection love. Sarvapadhi vinin muktam tatparatina ninmalam rishi kena rishi kesa sevanam bhakti ruttama. That is bhakti. Uh, and if you, st- if you are situated in that uh, transcendental position, bhakti, then you can understand Krishna. Bhakta mama vijanati. Not by so called speculation. No. That is not possible. Otherwise, Krishna would have said, by jnana, by yoga, by karma, one could understand me. Krishna says, no, clearly. Bhaktya mama vijanati, javana jaschami tattva. If you want to know Krishna as he is, then you have to accept this process of bhakti. And that bhakti means sarvapadhi vinin muttam. You should not consider yourself. So this Krishna consciousness movement is actually, factually, the movement for unity of the whole world. And that is actually beginning. Uh, it is actually being happened. Uh, all classes of men, from all groups of men, all religious societies or nations, they are joining this movement. Uh, they are joining, actually, there is the possibility. The United Nations could not unite the nation. But if you push on this Krishna consciousness movement, the all people of different dimensions, of different nations, different religions, they will join. That is required. Uh, so otherwise we are in the moho, illusion. So it is the business of Guru to dissipate this illusion, darkness, and enlighten the student to the real light. Militam Jena Tasmain Guru. He is Guru. Thank you very much. Yes.